is still the WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, John Riel Casimero. Tony Bellew, James DeGale, Billy Joe Saunders, Liam Smith, Elbrook, Ricky Burns, Anthony Croner, Terry Flanagan, Lee Selby, Carl Francis. This is probably why he's looking so relaxed here in the O2 because nothing like that's going to happen. So. Big right hand again, he tries Casimero. And a tough one. Way back, he was about 26 miles in Britain. Now, it, oh, 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 beautiful shot. Walk into it, straight into it, and he's hurt badly here. Charlie Edwards, he's going to do very well to recover. He's brave, he gets to his feet, his legs have gone. He's being asked to walk forward every opportunity. Casemiro wants to get on with it. There's over a minute left. He's out of hold. Does he have the experience to hold? Can he recover from that? I don't think so. Steve Gray holds it. It is over. John Real Casemiro successfully defends his IBF title on the road. And he tried everything. That left you hook. Hook, you hook with a hooker, right? Well, what they say, don't hook with a hooker. Don't hook with a hooker. You know, the thing is, he got up. He still got up from that shot. That shows, you know, what kind of kid this is. You know, he's, he's had a, a rough few rounds, but he's, he's got nailed, and he's still got up trying to win this fight. I take my hat off to him. He'll come again. This will do him This will do him in the world. Good. There's a lot of things to learn in experience, and he will come again. Terrific character from Charlie Edwards. Education may be a painful one tonight, but he took that opportunity and you've got to say that John Real Casimero did his job as champion. He fought with his heart on his sleeve all night, Charlie did. Ch Casimero is a tough veteran world champion. It is not always that we win our first world title shots, but it doesn't mean you're not going to come back and win a world title again. Look at these shots. All great boys, you take one step back. Edwards in September three years ago in an IBF flyweight title defense. He won this interim title in February against Ricardo Espinosa and then defended it in August against Cesar Ramirez. Both those came by way of stoppage since September 2012. Oh, Casimero got him. He's got him with a butt now. He's given hits. He's got him with a body shot, was it? No, it was on the sure. chin. It was. It was a short right hook to the chin. And he's in trouble. He's all over the place. He's in real trouble. Tete's in a lot of trouble. And the referee wants to look at him. He's allowing it to continue. But can Casimero take him out here? It happened so quickly. And he's still got a long way to go in this round. There's one minute, 20 seconds. And... Tete still looks unsteady. He's got to buy some time here and make Casimero miss. Casimero needs to pick his punches and he can't find the clean shot and he falls down. Tete, I don't think there was a punch which put him down. He just collapsed to the canvas. He's not down recovered the from the first time. shot. He's not recovered from the first knockdown. I'm sure of it. Referee asking, is he okay? Casimero wants to finish it right here, right now, and finish it he has. The title changes hands in sensational fashion. Zalani Tete stopped by John Real. Oh, look at that. Right, right, right on the temple. Hand. Right on the temple. Right, short little right hook right on the temple. And he does it again, doubles it up again, but the first one did all the damage. He jumps in with a body shot, which I, initially I thought was what had done it. And then he lands with two right hands to the side of the head. And he's done, and look at this now, this is, there's nothing really clean and conclusive, he got caught on the top of the head there, Tete, but he wasn't recovered from the first one. You know, the referee could have easily stepped in after the first knock.